Hi guys. Okay, so this might be a little different um, type of video that I usually make. So I do I typically on Sunday nights um, start to plan things out for the week, okay? <clears throat> so this is not the best setup. I'm working on getting an overhead um, iPhone holder so I can better, um, you know, show you what I'm doing. So let's just get started. All right. So <clears throat> a lot of you may be asking yourselves, I have gotten uh, a handful of um, DMs asking me if I'm okay, what's going on. Everything's fine. Believe me, everything is just perfect. What I have been doing is a lot of crafting and um, in my free time. So that's where I've been. Um, I started working on a bullet journal and just time got away from me. Um, I've been so busy. I had been working on this. I was planning on doing a giveaway. Um, if any of you are interested, I'll still do the giveaway. Um, this is a bullet journal from Michaels. Um, I thought the color was really pretty, very um, neutral. I went in and I started doing all sorts of different, um, you know, spreads. Um, thinking back, I kind of got some things um, a little like backwards, but that's fine. I mean, <clears throat> I have been doing it for myself. I just, I think I rushed into this one and wasn't thinking ahead. And I just wanted to get the monthly spreads done and I'm not still not done. So if anyone is interested in having this um, bullet journal for 2023, I'll be more than happy to send it off to you. Unfortunately, um, I had sent something off to a viewer in Sweden and it was not bigger than, it was about the size of this and it ended up costing me $38. But the viewer paid for it. So I, unfortunately I cannot, um, the giveaway would be only for the US. Um, so here I plan to do a little cover page with 2023. Um, I went ahead and did a future log, another spread um, for 2023, looking back at what was the best of 2022 and goals for 2023. Now, I'm not a big believer in, how can I say this, in, in a lot of goals and monthly goals. And, you know, there's things that you have to do, but three goals I think is more than enough for a year. You can't, I mean, you know, at least for me and um, the stage I am in my life, it's, I've got a lot going on, so... That's why. All right. So then I started off with, these are all eraser um, marks that I need to get off. Um, so anywhere where you see um, where I made a mistake, I used a white pen and I just went over it. So this is the January spread. And obviously, whoever wants this would be getting this late, but you can go back and fill it in. Um, I did the monthly calendar spread. Okay. And then I also included a to-do list by um, week. Um, you can put your grocery list, um, things you have to do, um, work assignments, work projects, school assignments, whatever you want. Then I left the page. Um, basically, hold on. Oh, sorry. So this is another page um, where um, we have favorites. So favorite books of the month, TV shows, movies, and anything else you might want to keep track of. Then I did leave an empty uh, page for whatever you wanted. And finally, 
a page where you can record uh, your memories for the month. So, um, yeah, I thought this is this is something I, I've been doing um, in my personal um, planner for a while now. It's a page where I have um, I keep track of memories, and what I've been doing is uh, for my birthday, uh, which was uh, in December, I got a I think it's the Canon Ivy uh, photo printer. And what I like about it, so this was just yesterday. We had a bonfire at my brother's house. We had the best time. Um, this was me and my wonderful friends. I've been friends with them for over 10 years. And we met up, we caught up, and we had lunch. We had a lovely day. And these are things, you know, I'll be putting down, you know, I just, because they're stickers. So it uses the Canon Zinc Zero Ink 16. I'll link this below and I'll link the the, the little photo printer that I um that I used to print these out. And then that's it. So it's you know it's very simple. Um you know I've seen a lot of spreads where they track uh a lot of habits and stuff like that, but I thought I'd make it a little simple. So let me just take you through the spreads. I'm not really done in every month, but I would say I'm 80% done. So this is February, you know, Valentine's Day. Then March. I'll just do the, then April. And if you see this little number up here, I wrote that in pencil. I'll erase that. It's just to keep track of the colors of my Tombow colors that I do use for the spreads. I thought this one was really cute, the clouds. Um, oh, here are some little clouds that I punched out that I need to add. I'm falling out. <laughs> All right, let me just... Then May, yeah, I have to work on this setup here. This is May, June, little beach balls. July, it's a sailboat. And for example, in the month of July, I really screwed up um, so I had to paste these papers together. So you see that the spread is on a, on a more beigey type paper. It's because I had to just paste it over at what I had done. This is the memories page. And this is odd. I think this is my favorite one, the popsicles. This is August. September. So I took inspiration from a lot of um, bullet journal YouTubers. Um, Rachel, oh gosh, Rachel something, I forgot her name. Rachel, Art and Foxes, um, Riley. Oh my gosh, I can't remember her name now. I'm sorry, my memory is a shot. <laughs> I mean, endless number of uh, bullet journal YouTubers I've taken inspiration from. Some of these have uh, have been my own ideas. For example, this one. Um, so yeah. And then I am still working on November and December. And then back here, um, I'm going to put like a little page for maybe uh, notes um, in this little journal. I like it because there's like a little pocket where you can keep uh, bills and stuff like that or stamps. So yeah, this is what I'm working on. I plan on having it done uh, hopefully in a week. So if any of you are interested in a giveaway, please uh, leave a comment below 
and let me know and I'll and I'll send it off to you guys as soon as I'm done with this okay so that's what a little project I've been working on then um, I typically use um, a, a, a plain bullet journal it's a little bit bigger than this I'll actually I'll be right back I'll show you so I typically use something like this this is from Erin Condren and I had these I had these made last year and you can personalize it this is my name so what I did here for example I made um oh gosh what do you call this like a little telephone book so I just cut out some little tabs um then for example birthdays and then this was my spread for 2022 um school schedule Twenty two, twenty twenty two. Um, at a glance, month monthly spreads. Okay, I had a lot of fun doing this. This this is my creative outlet. <laughs> then I wrote everything in here, and then let me just show you. So yeah, so I went back once I got my little um photo printer I went back and put in some uh, memories from um, each month so I love I'm loving that little camera again more memories uh, this was February a year ago um, we had date night and I went to see Rod Stewart in concert which was amazing so yeah, um, I love doing this, especially, you know, as I'm getting older, I want to remember things that um, I did. And I just think it's a really nice way of, you know, um, keeping track of stuff, jogging your memory, memory exercises. And yeah, so this year i was browsing in office depot and this was on sale i think like for 12 dollars. so i'm like hmm at one point i did have one of these um they're the happy planners what i do like about them is that it's so easy again here i've put in my pictures it is so easy to just take stuff out you see um and then you just snap it back in i'll show you with the papers it is so simple um, and then you just they just snap back in so I purchased this small one um, I've already been planning away um, a lot of this stuff is because I was on vacation for two weeks so I go back to work tomorrow which is the 9th of January but I did go ahead and have a lot of we didn't go anywhere during um, December because we had just taken a cruise in November um, for the week of Thanksgiving with my whole family so um, what I did a lot of was organizing and hopefully I can get to that video soon and edit it and that can go up but here was everything that I had to do I'm gonna tell you right now I did not get to everything but I'm not gonna sweat it because I I cannot and we should not be stressing over things that you know um, hey, one day you just want to relax. If one day you, um, you know, my brother has called me up. Um, hey, you want to play cards? Oh, no, I still have to do this. Well, you know what? Give yourself that time with your family because nothing's more important than family and the health of your family and the memories with your family. So um, a lot of things did not get done because I was spending time with my family or I was resting and we were just having a lazy day here at home. Um, but yeah, I did get a lot done. You'll see in those videos. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to start planning this next week. So what I like about this one, it's very compact. It's the mini happy planner. It'll go inside my purse. Um, so if I'm at a doctor's appointment, if I'm anywhere where I have to wait, you know, um, or 
um, for example, if I do have to go to the office, I can take this one out and just jot a couple of things down. Now, the one, um, so then I went to Joanne Fabrics and I found this one. And actually the real cover is this. I don't know if you can see it, but it, this is so easy again to just um, take it out of these rings. And then I just switched it over because kind of like this cover a little bit better it's you know easier softer on the eyes it's not as busy as this one this is still pretty but I prefer this one so um oh and then sorry on this one I'm also going to in the back I have let's see in the back of each one so we have the calendar the monthly calendar the weekly uh, lists, and then there's like little notes, note sheets. Okay, so the difference between this small one and this one is that this one, again, it has the monthly, okay, um, and then in the back. It just really has um, monthly goals, check it off, note to self. Here, this has some built-in trackers. So I'm going to start tracking my either walking or jogging, eating right, and sleeping well. Okay, which are the most important things to me. Um, you know, again, this year, um, I'll get into another video, I guess. But these are the my priorities as far as like um for myself that i have um yeah so then in this one i do plan on putting my memories um oh and this was card night <laughs> so again i've been making this a priority of spending time so i kind of have to um decorate this little spread to get rid of this so i'll figure something out so yeah so here i need to get rid of this so I'll be decorating it but this is how i plan to um you know uh, track my memories so then here what i can do is have little lists on this page um but the main reason why i wanted this bigger one was for my memories and then also if we go towards the back and then i've already gone in through the whole year and um put all the um the days off i have that are given to me uh, at work um all the holidays laundry day um birthdays if you can see here this is a little sticker i got from one of the happy planner sticker books this is weigh in i am going to start weighing in every the first sunday of the month and then i have a section here called meal planning so um this little um pad i purchased in um target and i think it's great because i can plan out my meals for the day and then here i have to make up my um shopping list and then i just rip this off and i give it to my husband and he goes shopping so um that's how i plan to use this meal plan section um then budget it's another thing that i want to focus on this year is really um you know budgeting my spend and stuff um so here are some financial goals this is already preset you know uh, i bought i purchased a separate little um insert i think it was called a uh, budget um from the happy planner uh where do i want to be one year so all that bills savings tracker um i'm not sure if i'm gonna be using this because i have direct deposit and um these are called these uh, the cash envelopes might i might use this i'm not sure yet so no spend tracker this is the one that's really important to me so uh in my um channel Yayi's Corner. You know, I cover, I try, I try to cover um, 
makeup, lifestyle, and uh, luxury. Um, there might be a little shift there, uh, and I'll make a video on that. I started the video already as to how I'm going to be changing it up a little. And I'm going to, this year, my goal is to not spend as much on makeup. And here's why. And I'll, and I'll talk more about it in my other video. But, um, you know, I purchase a foundation. And then, in a couple of months, they reformulated the foundation. So it's like, well, why didn't you make it right the first time? You know, it's so it's like a, a continuous, you know, circle of purchasing products, purchasing products. I'm not getting through all of them. So I have decluttered my makeup like crazy. I think um, I decluttered 50% of it. Um, so I'm down to what I like, what I really use. Um, and yeah, unless there's something that's like, uh, I think like the, um, I think it was the RMS, uh, redimension blushes that came out, which I love, unless something like that comes out, I'll, I'll purchase it. Otherwise I am not. So the first thing here is for the month of January. Okay, do not spend on makeup. Now, when I talk about makeup, what I mean is um, like new releases. Now, if I have to repurchase my mascara that I love, I'll repurchase the mascara that I love. If I need to repurchase um, my eyebrow pencil, I'll re... But makeup specifically on, oh, new releases. I end up giving away the NARS... Um, summer eyeshadow palette that came out that I think I purchased sometime in July or August. I used it a handful of times and I don't go back to it. So like those are the things that I'm not going to, I'm not going to repurchase. Um, and then another thing I don't want to purchase um, or spend money on is um, stationery. I've got, I've got a problem with stationery. Um, so, yes, I am fully stocked for the year, so I am not going to spend on stationery and crafts. Unless, again, it's like I have to purchase glue. I have to purchase, um, you know, um, like some twine. I have to purchase things that I cannot finish my projects unless I, I have those things. But any new stuff, new stamps, new um, uh, markers, anything like that, no, I cannot, I cannot <laughs> anymore. So yes, so these are the two things this year, let me just write January here, that I won't be spending any more um, money on. So the next section is projects. So I really liked that I found an insert that talked about projects. I'm going to use it for home projects. So this year, for example, we have some major um, projects that we need to take care of in the house, around the house. So I'm going to put it um, here, um, make some notes around here as far as quotes that we get, um, you know, any, um, perhaps the receipts I'll keep here, um, phone numbers, vendors, Con vendor contact information so the first project that we have to work on on our house this year is uh termite tenting so this involves a lot of stuff this involves packing up anything that has to do with food or um hair products skin products makeup all that needs to be out of the house so there's a lot of stuff that goes around here uh, around this um, project. Another uh, project that we need to work on are um, our restrooms. So um, our bathrooms. So we need to work on the guest bath and our primary bath. So again, 
you know, I'll just keep track of, you know, it says, like, this one says supplies on hand, supplies to purchase. Well, obviously, we're not going to be doing the work ourselves. We're going to be hiring contractors to do this work. So this is where I'll keep hand, um, track of everything. Um, I need to add a couple of more pages because I do have quite a few. Actually, I'm going to write them here. And what I love about this is you can just take this out and just use a plain sheet of paper and jot down all the projects you're gonna be working on. So, first project. Okay, so some of the projects, I mean, the main ones are termite tenting, the guest bath and primary bath. Uh, in the guest bath, we have a huge leak. Um, uh, so we need to take care of that so we'll probably have to end up ripping walls replacing the um a vanity and we might as well replace the tub and retile around the tub and then in our primary bath um our uh, shower head is it's only on hot <laughs> we can't we cannot have cold water so that's a problem so we need to get that fixed our patio ceiling, we have a huge patio out in the back. It goes almost the whole length of the house. It's um, the the painting job has peeled off. We need to have it cleaned and repainted. We are going to clear our garage and try to convert part of it um, into like a little home gym slash um, hangout room. I don't want to call it hangout room. I, we'll, we'll see. We just want to really clean it out and try to use that space a little bit more and just, you know, a huge declutter. Um, we need to paint the house outside. We need to paint the house inside. And finally, we need to replace the kitchen countertops. So that is this year. Um, so, yeah. And that's what I like about this particular... Um, planning system is that you can just just stick it in there so yeah these are the planners I will be using this year and of course I've got my work planner so my work planner is um, this is the Louis Vuitton desk agenda which I love I love this desk agenda and the insert or the actual journal that I use is by graphic image i love this the their contact information let me see okay so this is our contact information this is uh it's called graphicimage.com um this is the js9 refill which is perfect for this um it's perfect for the desk agenda okay so i Oh, this is really dirty with eraser bits. So I've ordered mine on Amazon. Um, I believe in, I believe it's a little bit cheaper on Amazon. But on Amazon, the last time I checked, they were running low on inventory. So I have like one, two, three, I have like six backups of this. So, but I love them because they are, I'll show you right now. So why do I love it? Because it fits perfectly in this agenda. It is nice and clean, very, um, uh, the rings are not thick and bulky. They're very nice. I believe there's 90 pages, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not really sure, but okay. So for example, what I do on my planner is um, I go ahead and I'll show you December, okay? So what I'll do is I'll take this off, this little tab that I keep, and I place it in the current month, okay? So this whole week I was on vacation, um, and then this is everything that I have to... Um, so this week I was on vacation, so I need to fill out the rest of my month. Um, yeah, this month is going to be a little crazy. So typically, this is what I do on Sunday nights. I start off with my... Oh, so let me just show you the quality of this paper. I love it. it it's 
thick. Um, it, it already comes uh, perforated. So if you, for whatever reason, need to pull a page out, you pull it out. Um, the size is perfect. Like, let's say I go into a meeting, I get my laptop and I carry my planner and it's just very compact. Um, yeah, I love this uh, notebook. So typically on a Sunday night is, you know, usually I don't have two personal planners. I just have one, but whatever. These were on sale. I, I want to try them out. Um, so this is going to be more of, you know, that I put in my purse. I jot things down. Obviously, I'm going to have to try to do double duty. You know, it's like double the work because then whatever I put in this one, I have to put in this one. And if I put something here, I have to put it here. But that's okay. Then this one is more of, um, you know, again, personal stuff. But this is where I'm going to be putting all my um, memories, you know, because obviously there's more space. But also where I'm going to be doing my meal planning and my budget and keeping track of all our projects. Now, going back to the meal planning. I wanted to show you this is the paper pad I'm talking about so this is by oh man it doesn't have the company name let's see if I can find it for you it's in Target okay it's in the stationery section ah uh, when I saw this I was you know obviously I could have done this on Excel but um your weekly meal oh here we go it's Russell and Hazel that's the name of the brand okay um, so, and your shopping list. So then what I'll do is once I have this, um, filled out, I'll hole punch it to fit my happy planner and I'll keep it in my meal plan. Okay. So my meal plan has already been done for this first week in, sorry, second week in January. So my husband's going to go grocery shopping tomorrow and you know, he'll take care of that. And, um, yeah, so every Sunday night. I'll plan with this okay another thing that I forgot to mention is that I also keep um, a weekly planner for my son so this week and then here I'm just gonna show you an example because I always keep um the week before all right so what I do for him is I put the week of I put the dates on top of every day of the week and then I list his um, school schedule because he's on a block schedule. So uh, and then fin um, important projects that he has to make sure get get done. Um, he has become more um, he's 12. He, he just turned 12. So, you know, I, I can't expect him to be super organized. Um, Although my parents never had to keep track of me, you know, we live in a different age. I guess I can, you know, my family calls me Miss um, Goldberg. For those of you who watch the Goldbergs, yeah, I'm Beverly. So, but I need to help him keep track of his stuff. So, you know, every morning or the night before he sees what he has coming up, he makes sure he makes sure that his backpack has um, those books that he needs for the day. Um, important assignments you know that are done uh, that, that are due and then I always leave them a little message on the bottom okay um and yeah so every Sunday night I do this for the upcoming school week for my son using this one this is by sugar paper um that's the company again I also purchased this at Target, which um, I'm loving it. I've been using it since the beginning of the school year. I'm not sure if it's going to last me, but I'll order one online if I run out. So I've got this one. I've got my meal planner. And um, yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's it.